Oh my god, is that Ice Spice? Con Con, Ice the Spice on PS2 Loser Quarter Finals. And on the Bayonetta, definitely looking immaculate right now. I know this is definitely going to be quite a matchup for Stefan to deal with due to her phenomenal pressure with the AVK. He's able to get lots of damage. If he's not unlocked with the VI and the SCI, it could be curtains for Stefan. And it's already looking like that. 56 opposed to that 128. You got to get in there, get that less dropping nice and easy. And it seems like you are doing just that with these back ears. Yeah, my bad, y'all. I didn't, I didn't know they started, but shit. Is your mic on? But, <clears throat> I mean, like, yeah, all right. Kong Kong, I'm say, even if Kong Kong find up tilt back here, yes, he does. I just see how seven places out because, like, if he's unable to find the kills here and, like, Kong can just ramp up, like, this is definitely one of the matchups where, like, Bale doesn't have the hardest time kill killing, like, can get shit off the top, can kill Steve off the side pretty early. Like, she's not have a hard time punishing, like, my current angle. It dies to the, the forwarder, up smash. Yeah, Steve also does not have a hard time killing this character, but oh man, when you play against a seasoned Bayonetta like Con Con, I am so scared with every kick, everything that she does, but I'm also terrified at Stefan's combo game. Crazy how that's all true, and uh, Con Con couldn't bat out of any of it. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I'll go back air. Yeah, back air, trying to grab, which grabbing? And you can see him using a lot of these jumps and a lot of these double jumps to kind of just hang around and find that confirm. And you saw him going for the empty grab as well. And which time on the minecart? Oh, I thought he was going to do something crazy off that. Oops. Oh my god, nice fair one to S smash. Yeah, this is the power that Bayonetta can do with a lot of these feints. Her maneuverability to get around a lot of their opponent's options with these AVKs and to the Witch Twist. But all right, Stefan able, was able to get out, only eating 28%. That's very good. Now you get the diamonds almost coming online, and you got this kill. Oh, he's fiending for that. Stefan eating this up so quickly. Uh oh. All right, yeah. He set <laughs> up the fun house. house. He set up the fun house. The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, if you will. Presents on both. Well, I don't know what takes. Like, it's off of here, but Diamond is online. That is 64. Like, one F smash will do it. Yeah, well, that, that, all you need is that Diamond F smash. Kind of going in there. You can saw Stefan was trying to get it, but Kong Kong's still looking for these openings. You can see them being very defensive, very passive as well. But all right. Was able to get the nice two piecer out of that and is looking to get a little bit more, but only gets a little, a little bit of ballad damage off that down tilt. This is so tight right here. It's just like it's so hard for both of them. Like neither one of them really want to take risks because it just ends up in them getting like whiff punished and then just dying. Yeah, and comboing off of the block as well. He was straight up out of there and ooh, that, that was crazy ass build. That was tricky. That was right, so yeah. so Fourth tricky. Row. One for the back air, just is that what just too low. Couldn't get around the minecart. Yeah, but couldn't get a kill oh off of that. Right oh, yo, we're a cheater. Bats within. All right, let's go. Steve deserves it. And the witch yeah, time. Witch time's on my cart. Yeah, <laughs> that block is so messed up. All of Bayo's kill options set at the same angle. Damn, and I can see right, that second. Yeah. Oh, damn. That up throw, man. Game one going to Stephanie. Damn, Stefan was really feeding for that kill in the last instance. Threw all caution to the window. Know. No resources. I mean, you got the power to do so. You mm -hmm. are Steve. I think we're going for a long side. You're getting into game two here. I believe they're going back to PS2. Yeah. Back to PS2. I want to see how Comcom, like, kind of just plays around, like, Stefan being able to just negate, like, a lot of his, like, Win conditions like you saw the one block there, kind of he couldn't jab, get the jab, he couldn't get an F throw, couldn't b back air. Like, how did, yeah, like, how did Kong Kong play around this? Like, play around C basically. 
Well, you gotta be a little bit of a cheater. You gotta use those to ABKC or movement. You gotta use that which time to cheat out. You know, fight fire with fire. Exactly. You gotta cheat in this game. Right and now, Kong Kong's not cheating as much as he needs to. Yeah, I couldn't get the up smash out in time. I saw that block in hand, but unfortunately for Kong Kong, this pressure is making it so good. But damn, that grab might be putting Kong Kong in a really nasty situation to be able to make it back. Mm -hmm. And yep, the pressure plate setting up for that just right as well. And now you got Steve literally back against the wall, but this is where he wants to be. Oh he God, wants 62. to have that. Oh, no, there. don't oh do it, dude. God. All right, he was trying to get a little bit of cheese. Nah, damn. Yeah. He wanted a reversal so right bad. Yeah, just he was too far away for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doesn't get, the, doesn't get the fair after the up B. This is very interesting because, you know, we might see a character switch from you know Bayonetta to Min Min potentially, which I can see doing a lot of a better job with the arms kind of going through the walls and being able to kind of snipe Steve out in the minecart. But the Bayonetta, it has the right idea. Yeah, I don't think he had any hope. Yeah, no. Pretty sure he's just switching after that. Got to save that mental stamina for the next game. It ain't over, my friend. It is best of five. Yeah. Hey, I'm still Game sticking with the Bayo. Saves the Bayo. I thought we were going to see a character switch, but it's time to stick it out. Oh, man. The, the tower. He definitely tower. can. It's just he, he's not finding the like punish game that he really needs. Or at least Stafford's playing super well around it. Very used to the matchup, it seems like. Yeah, like, see, he just watched Kong Kong straight up just ABK through the shield. It's like, all right, bet. Up till, up till, up till. Got a clean, like, 48, 44%. But... Kong Kong, in these situations, top. you need to go. Yep. Yeah. Good shit from Kong Kong. Mm hmm. Just Probably in those situations. It. Kong Kong has been kind of struggling to close out those stocks, like getting them in the blast zone and everything like that. And now that Kong Kong got the first instance no, of that, we that. might see it come into fruition here. A potential reverse 3 0. But first, we got to get that point on the board. And he's making a very strong case for it. Oh my god. I've seen Kong Kong, Kong running away a little bit. Like, it's just like. Making Steph would have to work a little bit more. Like mm -hmm. He finally finds himself with a lead in this set and, like, just. Yeah, but it matched a little too much in neutral there and ate an F smash for it. Super unfortunate. Alright, he finds it. Downwards ABK. Ned. Like, he's just not getting much off of these openings. And now and that gold axe putting in that work into the backer as well and almost got the kill for that on that DI. But all right, so, you know, Kong Kong's still hanging around there. It has to worry about that down factor. And that whiffed heel, heel slide on the shield could have been real nasty. Mm -hmm. All right, Fontaine smash. Kong Kong, all right. Find himself back to ledge, but like he's bobbing and weaving a lot of stuff and stuff, but like he's just not getting able to like reverse or like get the whip punish off of it. Just for the second ABK. He just need a witch list there. Nice oh. the minecart. Yeah, an unfavorable trade there. Wasn't able to get it. And you can see Kong Kong really wanted to get the up tilt into the back air. But all right, witch twist. Trying to still get the work. But unfortunately, Stefan taking center stage. Oh yeah. my god, let's get the back air. Uh oh. Um, Man, all right, fourth throw. That's scooped. No pickaxe. Okay. Be back air. Yep, there it is. 1-1, one, 53%, one, but if he can build this diamond. Yeah, and he caught him slack and trying, trying to craft that diamond as oh. well. It's keeping the damage nice and even, <laughs> but still, oh, no, diamonds are crafted right. now. And the X Factor is out, baby. Dante, Virgil, the whole team out. It's a fair oh, it's oh, my God. <laughs> so close. Yeah, this... Pickaxe really pressuring and trying to get off the Looney Tunes setup. He evades the up smash. And Stefan is still just hanging around in that position to get it. And it might be it off the backer. And yes, it is. 3-0 for Stefan. Leave sends him to loser semis. That 
Was so that was a really good set actually. Like I like Connor's ideas and everything to play around Steve. You saw in that game three, he had all the right ideas, but unfortunately not in all the right places.